will start by covering our face with a yellow cream makeup. You can get a cheap one at your generic drugstore. With a small brush or concealer brush and a black face paint, we are going to begin to outline our skeleton features. Skeletor is the primary antagonist of Masters of the Universe, and he's the arch enemy of He-Man. Skeletor's primary goal is usually to conquer Castle Grayskull so he can learn the ancient secrets and rule over Eternia. Using your black face paint, fill in your eye holes and the nose area. With a small brush and black face paint or black liner, we are going to begin to draw the details on our face. Right now I'm just drawing in the hollows of my cheeks, drawing in a very sharp J formation. Drag the paint down a little bit, blending to add some depth and dimension. to fill in the sides of my face and chin and jawline just to darken it up and make more of a slim skeleton facial structure. With a black eyeliner, we're going to begin our mouth. Skeletor was a former pupil of Hordak, and Hordak you know, had wide control over the entire universe, so he opened up a portal dimension, to which Skeletor got left behind and later took over Snake Mountain and tried to conquer Grayskull, which he man derived his powers from. small details around the corners of the mouth on the skeleton with black face paint. And with your black eyeliner, just draw in any fine lines or details under the eyes, on the forehead, just around the face, anywhere you feel that it needs a little bit more dimension. going to highlight the brow bone area with a little bit of brown and black shadow and a small shadow brush. And blend and smooth out all of your edges with a fluffy brush. Skeletor, or also known as Keldor, Lord of the Night or the Overlord of Evil, was actually the uncle to Prince Adam or He-Man. Touch up the details of your lips with a black face paint and then start going into the teeth with a white face paint. I use the white wolf effects face paint.
going back in with a flesh colored face paint and a little bit of brown shadow. I'm just gonna dirty in and old up the teeth a little bit. White eyeshadow with a fluffy eyeshadow brush to add some highlight to the brow bone and to our cheekbones. Taking your black cream face paint again, we're going to darken up the neck to add more dimension around the face. Afterward, I went back in on all the black face paint with a little bit of black shadow to powder it up and to let it set stronger. 